Wow, so this week was one hell of a week to be a football fan when it came to the Champions League. We had four games this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, that just absolutely, to me, were great. I, I enjoyed them, I enjoyed the football that we had. Let's go ahead and start with probably, to me, the biggest game that happened. Uh, Bayern Munich versus Juventus. So Bayern Munich went to Juventus and got two quick away goals, which really put a nasty damper on whether the heck or not Juventus was even gonna get anywhere close to the quarterfinals. But they fought back that second half, they drilled it, they powered through, and they got their two goals back. Now they still had two away goals, but they put themselves back into it, so it was awesome. So now you got Byron's home leg game, and Juventus do the exact opposite of what happened the first game. They come out, they get two goals, which, by the way, the one from Morata was absolutely crazy, the way he barreled through those defenders. And Quadrado with the finish, with the cut and the finish, absolutely gorgeous goal. That was one of the best goals I've seen this season, I think. And then you think, oh man, now Bayern Munich's in the issue. Bayern Munich's a problem. Second half, they come out, they get two goals, and holy crap, we got a game on our hands. This is probably the best game of the Champions League so far that we got going on. It was the change that Allegri made, taking Morata out, in my opinion, that completely changed that game. Morata was putting pressure on the back line, Juventus could drill the brawl up forward, up front, and Morata was getting on the end of absolutely everything. Then the moment that they took him off and they put Mandzukic on there, everything changed for Juventus. They couldn't get possession anymore. Any ball they sent, the Bayern Munich defenders were getting right away, and it just completely turned the game on upside on its head, for Juventus at least. Uh, and then you had the extra time, and it, it was just too much pressure. Too much pressure, and Juve crumbled. The Allegri, horrible substitution. Pep, good good substitution. Now let's go ahead and go to Barcelona versus Arsenal. There wasn't a lot to say to this. I think obviously Arsenal were gonna lose in my opinion. I think a lot of people want to assume that because now with this one, this is the sixth time, sixth time Arsenal has gone out in the final 16. They've been saying it for a couple months now and I agree and I've said it in a video. You'll see an Arsenal video right here. I'm thinking they got that so spursy. Well, this is Arsenaling. They're doing it every year, every year for the past few years now. All right, Arsene Wenger, take a hike, buddy. It's time to go. Let's go ahead and go to the Manchester City Dynamo Kiev game. Manchester City was a completely different team at the uh, way leg, and now they're at the home leg, and they just did not care. Jesus Navas, man, I think it's good to say you're a bust now. You haven't scored for Manchester City at all. You haven't scored in a long time. When you did get a chance to score there at the end during this game, I've never seen somebody panic so much. You just look so uncomfortable, so unfocused, and then you gave the ball away at such a good chance. You also had two injuries that happened in that game, and shocking, Vincent Company is one of them. Him being gone again, this is a big, big kill for Manchester City. You know, it's good that they got to the quarterfinal, but I don't care who they're gonna play, I don't think they're gonna get it done. Not without company, and not only that, they lost Otamendi too. So two big defenders there that they lost. Manchester City, I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna crash out with whoever you go against. Let's talk Atletico PSV. This was a grinding game for Atletico and PSV. You know, PSV literally was soaking every single attack that Atletico drew at them like a sponge. I mean, the shots were crazy at the home leg, at the away leg, and PSV was just holding off, holding off, and it really tested the hell out of, out of Atletico. And it's a shame that there was no goal scored in open play, but honestly, I thought it was a great tie all around, the chances that they got end-to-end -end stuff a lot of the time. It was a great game, and even the penalties dragged on for a long time. Good game, I really liked it. Atletico, not a lot of people are gonna play you when you can be that defensive and still attack that way. So we'll see who they draw, but it's gonna be tough for whoever it is. So let me go ahead and say that the draws tomorrow or today or whenever you're watching this, the way I wanna see the draw happen is I'd like to see Real Madrid versus Wolfsburg. I think that would be a good test for both teams. Wolfsburg, they're kind of an up and down team right now but I think they have the attack to be able to trouble the heck out of Madrid. Now, for Barcelona, I'd like to see them go against Benfica. Uh, Benfica and Portugal teams are usually a little annoying. They annoy the heck out of some teams, especially some Spanish clubs. So I think it would be cool to see a Barcelona-Benfica. Uh, Benfica draw, honestly. I think that would be a good game. I think it would show us Barcelona under another light to see if they can get through that and maybe show early that they're they're gonna go ahead and repeat the Champions League title again, go ahead and win it again. For PSG, I'd like to see Man City. PSG and Man City. Now obviously I said Manchester City's gonna lose to whoever they draw. PSG being no different, they'd probably beat Manchester City. But I think it'd be funny to call this the oil giant game. <laughs> PSG and Manchester City both being oil, are owned by oil companies. It'd be funny to see that. Zlatan really making a push to win the Champions League, something he's never done before. Sometimes I like the guy, sometimes I hate the guy, but honestly I respect the hell out of the guy. So 
it would be nice for him to be able to get a Champions League before his career is said and done. Of course, now that leaves Bayern Munich and Atletico Madrid. That would be a killer game. Uh, Atletico uh, can attack real well. Their defense is absolutely crazy going against Bayern Munich. Again, another team that can attack like crazy and good defense. If that tie were to happen, that would be the best game. Again, beating out the Juve Bayern Munich game, that could be a huge game. I would love to see something like that. You'll notice I didn't put any of the Spanish teams together. Uh, we got three Spanish teams out of the eight finalists. I'm getting annoyed with that. I, I can tell you right now, I don't want to see this final four again involving Madrid, Barcelona. Bayern Munich, and then there's always a random fourth, so it would probably be PSG or Manchester City, whoever. But I don't want to see those main three making it again. I, I love Madrid, Barcelona I'm not a big fan of, and Bayern Munich not a big fan of. So obviously it's easy for me to hate two of those three, but even, even with Madrid, I don't want to see all three again. I want to see it different. I want to see a different Final Fours. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about what you'd like to see for a draw if you see this early, or what you think of the draw if you're seeing it after the draw. Let me know your thoughts on the games. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go watch the Europa League, uh, Liverpool versus Manchester United, and Dortmund versus Tottenham. Leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you'd like, and I'll see you next time. Tottenham, you're not coming back. I'm sorry. You're not coming back.